Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Watson and today I will be sharing with you my lab to report. In this experiment, we we're able to observe the gravitational and drag forces acting upon an object being dropped from a certain height. The objective of this experiment were, was for us to compare our observed experiment to different computational models based on different principles of physics. The system of this experiment was the eraser, while the surroundings was the person who dropped it, as well as the air surrounding the eraser and the ground. Some of the different methods we use to complete this experiment include the tracker software to analyze our experiment and provide us with precise distance and time measurements. We then took this information and plugged it into our glow script code to produce three different computational models. The first model was what we observed in our lab as a group, and the next two models were predicted sets of data based on different forces, including gravity and drag force. As you can see here, this is our actual lab experiment video. Um, we dropped an eraser with a mass of 40 grams from a height of three feet. So this was the data that we collected for each different computational model. As you can see all the way on the left, this was our actual observed first time or time versus position graph in the middle. You can see our predicted gravity versus, versus gravity time versus position, as well as on the right. On the right, you can see our predicted gravity and drag position versus time. And this will all be shown in our glow script graphs. I want to actually go show you the coding that I have here. Um, so first thing to notice is that we converted our 40 grams into kilograms by making our mass 0.04. As you can see, our position vector is 0.30 as we dropped it from three feet. Each delta time step is 0.01 seconds. And down below, you can see our three different equations for these different graphs. So when we run the program, you can see the ball or the eraser in our case is being dropped from three feet high. And obviously our graphs are obviously the eraser is not going to go into a negative position. Um, it will just hit the ground, but this is very easy to see when our object is hitting the ground. First one you can see is our po observed position versus time graph, and we can see that it took a little more than 1.6 seconds to hit the ground. And then next is our two predicted graphs. As you can see here, the bottom one is our includes drag force, so it did have an effect on the position of the eraser as it was traveling down just compared to our normal gravity force. So in conclusion, it took our eraser 1.9 seconds to travel about three feet, or that should say feet. Um, drag did also have an effect on the object in our predicted graphs, as you can see from our glow script code. And I think that different objects would have different velocities um, and accelerations depending on their mass and aerodynamics. This is where human error comes into play. I think this was one of the variabilities of this experiment was that the object was not being dropped at a perfect rate. It could have been barely thrown up or even pushed down from the start. And different objects are going to have different air resistances on the surrounding forces. So, uh, ball with good aerodynamics is going to drop faster than an eraser that it almost acts as a parachute which skews our data um, depending and, and it's going to show different data than what is predicted in our graphs. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for listening.